Walters here, and today we're going to talk about ways to simplify the process on creating sports uniforms. Now, sports uniforms could be consisting of basketball, football, soccer, volleyball, you name it. If there's a jersey or a t-shirt where you need names and numbers, I'm going to tell you a couple of dis different resources and tools that you can utilize to make the whole process easier. Now, to give you just a quick look, this is just a simple but very clean soccer jersey. And on the back, we have a two color with a uh, two color number with a name. Now, if you are already decorating uniforms and you are choosing to screen print them yourself, I urge you to consider using pre cuts or numbers that are already screen printed ready to apply from Transfer Express. Let me show you what those look like. Okay, so when it comes to simplifying the screen printing process, you have a couple of different options. If you aren't offering your customers vinyl transfers or you aren't considering this for your purposes as well, consider it because it can save you time and time can save you money. Next is you can also offer your customers twill numbers without having to embroider. Now, I do have a quick little, um, not selection, but uh, examples to show you. These are screen printed numbers ready to be applied from Transfer Express. You can go on there, order in packs of five, and then all you're doing is heat applying at one time. Now, in this particular case, you do have to line up the numbers in order to get a um, double digit. However, if you can see, we've got a two color number here and we have a single color number here, which allows you to just heat apply at once. This is a great tool if you are already screen printing and your customer prefers the same front and back. This is the option you should be going to. These are considered pre-cut. So as you can see, the number is already pre-cut, ready to be placed on top of the jersey. All you have to do is align, heat press, and you are done, ready to go. These eliminate the need to do any type of screens, plus it gives your customer elevated numbers. These are a great solution to offer screen printed numbers with, again, without having to burn any screens. Both of these solutions provide you the ability to just heat apply and move on. So if you are using pre-cuts in any way, let me show you the tool next that you need to make it that much easier to apply numbers to your uniforms. All right, guys, these are the tools that you should be using to help speed up the process if you're using pre-cuts. Both of these are layout guides. This is the lettering layout guide, and this is a layout board. Both of them do very similar things. It's just this is a little more simplified. And as you can see, with this grid, you can go diagonally. You can have a much larger arch. And then you're working with inches down at the bottom. Now, what you can do with this board is use the curve to use your pre-cut letters for a name. And then you can use the bottom to keep it straight. This also allows you to align the numbers evenly on top. That way you don't have one offset than the other. This allows you to do the exact same thing, but as you can see on a scale, they are much different. And this one gives you a little bit more to work with. Now, what this allows you to do is lay out everything and then take it to the press and heat apply versus trying to align on the press. So you're saving a little bit of time in the setup process, but you're saving a lot of time in the application process. Both are very, very easy ways and quick ways to move forward in um, you know, applying names and numbers. It's just your choice which one you want to choose. From here, if you are over it, 
let's say you don't want to do pre-cuts anymore, you don't want to stock um, letters, you don't want to stock numbers, you want to go just get it done and move on with that order, you've got to check out pre-spaced text and pre-spaced numbers. All of these give you the ability to decorate a jersey front to back, head to toe of the garment. So we're talking name, number, and with Team Perfect, we're getting into another category of a way to easily decorate uniforms. So let's check out what the pre-spaced numbers um, look like because this is going to make it even easier. Okay, I've got a variety of options for you. Specifically, this is pre-spaced numbers with special effects. What that means is you are getting the pre-spaced numbers, right? You don't have to worry about spacing them on the jersey. They've already been cut, weeded, ready for you to just peel that backing off, apply the carrier, heat press, and go. This saves you time in trying to align the two, and from here, all you have to do is find the mid and align it on the shirt. As you can see, you can do it in a variety of sizes. There are several sizes to choose from online. This is just a couple of options. Again, you can peel. This is clearly white, so it, it's hard to see with the backing behind it, but you can have solid numbers, you can have perforated effects, and there are a variety of font styles to choose from as well. Next, which is an awesome game changer, is the ability to have the name and number already pre-aligned and pre-spaced on this one sheet. Instead of having to align the name with the two digits, it's just one single graphic that you have to apply. You have eliminated so much production time that this just really speeds up the flow. As you can see, all you have to do is peel the backing away and you've got your numbers and your name ready to apply to the back of whatever it may be. If you're not just decorating uniforms and you're in that fan wear, don't be afraid to duplicate your numbers for your uniforms and use those for your fan wear as well. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to apply this to a t-shirt, but keep in mind you'd be doing the same thing for a jersey. Now earlier at the very beginning I showed you um, a soccer jersey with a two color number. If you are using pre-spaced then you would have two applications if you were doing a two color of anything. In that case you would apply the first color, you would tack it down, peel the carrier, apply the second color on top of that, and then you would be complete. Still very simple, and if you're not quite sure how to do a two color number, let us know. We'll make sure that we create some more content for you. Otherwise, we know that there are other videos on our channel that will show you how to apply a two color number. Now, we are going to head to the press, and we are going to decorate a baseball jersey. This one is from Augusta. It is navy with red accents, and we will be using a pre-spaced single color two-digit number um, that is in our CAD Cut Premium Plus, and of course, it's the color white, so you can't really see it here, but you'll really be able to see it pop on the uniform. So let's go ahead to the press, and I'll show you how to apply. Okay, so I am using a Hottronics Auto Clam, and I have the Tagalong Platin in the unit right now. And I just find this really easy to work with because you have the neckline and you can always line up really easy. So I'm going to thread the garment. And as you can see, I'm just moving the back neck to where it falls right below the seam of the heat press. Now from here, I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and smooth and we will be good to lay out our transfer. Now when applying numbers, 
you want to be two to three inches from below the neckline for names and you want to be one to two inches below the name for numbers. So I'm going to get a ruler just so we can measure this out and so you can see exactly how I'm going to place. So I'm going to go about four inches down so we can kind of be even. And this is, like I showed you earlier, the number that we're going to be using. I'm going to turn off the light so you can see it better. But all we need to do is peel the backing away from the transfer. And then fold it in half to find the middle. This helps me with aligning and doing the best to get everything in the center. Now from here, I'm just flipping the neck back so you can see the label. And I'm going to take the middle of the label and just line it up with that little crease that I made in the middle of our transfer. You could easily put something in the middle of this pad to create your center point. Um, you could also do it on the metal portion of the heating, or excuse me, the um, platen as well. So just verifying and checking everything to make sure we're good to heat apply. Now I have already pre-pressed our garment. So once we finalize the number, I will put the cover sheet on top of that. and then heat apply. Now this is Premium Plus High Tech and it applies 280 degrees to 300 degrees for eight to 12 seconds and a medium pressure. Now when we apply the heating element, we are going to make sure that we peel at a hot to warm temperature In this particular case, we have just a little bit lift on the inside of the number. So I'm just going to tack that down for a couple more seconds by applying the cover sheet. And then just heat applying again for a couple of seconds. All right, our jersey's complete. All right, guys, now that we have completed decorating our jersey with a one color pre-spaced two digit number, Let's take a look at it. As you can see, the white really pops, especially with the style of font that we chose. And the beautiful thing about Premium Plus is that this is a really, really lightweight polyester jersey. It moves with the player very well. And Premium Plus is so thin and it has a great stretch and rebound that it is going to move with the jersey perfectly. This is going to be even more breathable for our player and it's going to feel great on the body. Thanks for tuning in guys. I hope this helped alleviate some pain and possibly some struggles that you may have or have had with creating and decorating jerseys. I'm Kelly Walters and we'll see you next time.